Hello everyone. So I'm making um, okra today, bamya. And so I cut the tip off of each one. This was frozen, so I ran hot water over it and cleaned it. So now um, I drained it and so I'm ready to deep fry it. So I'm going to deep fry all of them and as you can see the okra is already fried and I put the lamb pieces on the stove for it to boil. As you can see this lamb uh, forms this layer on top that I need to remove. It's about to boil so I'm just going to remove this top layer. and add onion, bay leaf, and cardamom to it to season the lamb broth. Okay, so I take that out and I'm gonna put the onion, bay leaf, and cardamom in here. And let it boil for a while. I'm going to cover it and let it boil until the lamb is done. All right, getting ready to cook the okra. So there's my tomato paste. I sometimes put one, but I'm cooking more than usual. So I'll put one and a half or two when I have about a head of garlic cut and I have the uh, lamb right here and I have the broth of the lamb that I'm going to add the tomato paste to it and add it to the sauteed garlic. So I'm going to saute the garlic and then add the, the meat to it, then add the sauce. All right, so I have the canola oil here in the pot and I'm adding the garlic to saute. And once the garlic is sauteed, I will add the lamb to it. Right. Looks like the garlic is sauteed. I'm going to add the meat to it. going to stir for like a couple of minutes. Yeah, it looks like the meat is already mixed well fried with the garlic. Smells good. So I'm going to add the broth with the tomato paste to it. Some of the tomato paste is not dissolved yet. And then after I do that, I need to add some salt. So I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then a little bit of allspice. That's all. I don't put too much allspice because I feel it takes away from the okra flavor. So I'm gonna wait until this boils and then I would, uh, will add the okra to it until it boils for a little bit. And then the last thing I do is I add the okra to it because it's uh, already deep fried. It doesn't take much cooking. It looks like um, I'm ready to add the okra here. And this has been boiling for about 15 minutes. And so I'll just add the okra to it right here. That has been deep fried. And I will mix, stir it a little bit, mix it together, and cover it for about 10 minutes. And here I have more garlic to put at the end, like five minutes before I turn off the okra, um, the, the heat on the okra. 
uh, five minutes before it's done, I add smashed garlic. Those are huge garlic cloves. So um, yeah, it's quite a bit. And I think at the end, it tastes a lot better. I know we have put some cut garlic sauteed before, but this is gonna give it a nice flavor when it's done. All right, looks like it's time to add the garlic to this. So I'm gonna add the smashed garlic right here. Smashed garlic and salt. And let it boil for another five minutes and I will turn the stove off. There it is. So that's